Hello and welcome to King Pasha's Garage. Today I'm showing you this. My 1982 Volkswagen pickup LX. This is rear wheel drive and it's quite amazing. Here's the share code for this. I think you guys are going to really like this. I really spent some time tuning this thing for you guys. And I can't wait to show you guys the replay of what this thing can do on Car Asta Drift Zone. And we're going to get right into it. Another thing I want to uh, explain to you guys. When you're looking for like uh, tuners, look at the tuner rank. See, I'm a, I'm a rank 20. That's just because I'm, I have all these tunes out there. But if you look at everybody else, look, tuner rank 1. That just means, you know, people aren't really buying their, their tunes. You know, they're not... They're not as big as what I am. Um, as you can tell, this is also mine. My all-wheel drive, I'm still tuner rank 20. But everybody else here is only a 1. Alright? So, that's just something you want to look at. Um, I definitely have enough points in my system to give me a tuner rank of 20. And that's the max rank you can get um, on the game. So, let's get right into... Uh, everything I want to show you guys uh, how how fun this thing is to drift and whatnot so uh, I believe this one of these is the uh, yeah there's three minutes and 44 seconds yeah this one A little bounce there but we're okay now this is with off-road tire compound and this thing's amazing with the off-road tire compound. I wanted a, uh, you know, I, I first tried a uh, race tire uh, compound, and I didn't like it. Um, so I went, you know, for like more tire, you know, configurations. I tried snow tire, um, rally tire, uh, you know, and then I, I came to this uh, off-road tire, and it was exactly what I needed. Also, you notice, um, noticed on there that I'm not using the um, rally engine. I didn't like the rally engine. I didn't like the 668 horsepower engine in, in this. Um, I felt it was too powerful. It was too twitchy um, for, for this little truck. So I opted out and got the uh, uh, V6 engine. And uh, it, it, it seems to work a lot better. Um, it has perfect amount of horsepower and the perfect amount of torque um, to keep this uh, little truck uh, under control. But yeah, it, it definitely is a fun uh, vehicle. And I made it a, uh, a straight build because um, the person who asked for this uh, said that he was using a steering wheel. So I wanted to make sure um, he wasn't really having to uh, turn the wheel as much. Um, really didn't have to fight it. Uh, I didn't want him to uh, fight this steering wheel and fight this uh, vehicle to, you know, drift. Of course, I could have been in third gear, gone a little faster, but I was just taking my time down through here uh, with second gear. I figured that was just good enough. We're definitely in the millions um, with the with this. Here I'm gonna do a little spin around here and park it. 1.050. Absolutely amazing. 
All right, I tried it with Rally Tire, and uh, I had a 1.009, and then I went with the, uh, you know, when I, and I went with the Snow Tire Compound, and it was a lot less. Uh, it was just, it was just too slidey. And then uh, when I want to put the uh, Off-Road Tire on here, gold. It, it was just, it was gold. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Car Mastery, I don't have anything on here. Um... I just left it uh, stuck. But yeah, let's get into this and show you guys everything I did to this thing. So like I said, it's got a V6. It's got the 2.8 liter. All right, we got 563 horsepower with 475 foot-pounds of torque. I mean, it weighs 1,911 pounds, so it, it's it's very light. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, like I said, it's got the rear-wheel drive drivetrain. And it's got a single single turbo. I did try like the supercharger, um, but I knew I could get some more power out of it, so I did it this way. All right, keeping it as light as possible, I removed the front bumper. Uh, it's just regular stock in the back. You do have an option to put these on here, but you know, all that stuff adds weight to it. All right, I removed the rear bumper. And I do have the uh, the side skirts on there. You know, yes, uh, it does uh, save you some weight, you know, but I wanted to have, I wanted to say rabbit in the back. I wanted this thing to uh, just, you know, look good. You know what I mean? Great. Like I said, it's got the off-road uh, race tire compound. You know, you can use all these other tires. All right, with my tune, you can you can rock them if you if if you need to. Just take my tune and put on like the semi slick race tire. It's a little bit more grippy, but if you need that extra grip, definitely do that. Um, you can try these different tire compounds if you want. All right, but yeah, so uh, I tried this. It was uh, zero point zero six. You know, and this is uh, 0 0.16, so I was just working down, you know, what I could run with this thing. Um, another thing is, if you notice, if you actually go with, like, these tires right here, your your vehicle is lower. Alright, look, see that? Even the uh, drift tire compound raises up the truck. Look at that, brings it down. So, it's even lower um, with this setup. All right, now I got uh, 195s in the front. I tried this here, but it was too twitchy. Um, so I brought it down to 195, and it seems to be a lot smoother. All right, and our main focus was this rear end. It's a very light rear end, so I decided to max it out. Um, get as, as wide enough tire, much grip as possible in the back, and it seemed to um, do its job. Of course, I got my favorite rims on here, my TC 105 ends. All right, I've just got the 13s in the front and 13s in the rear. I did try uh, this first, just to focus more on the rear, just get more weight in the rear. But I I ended up going back down to stock. All right, here you only have a track width, just right here. All right, you could do this, um, but I went with this. Um, and why I had that like that was because when I was tuning it before, um, it was an A800 it maxed out. And if I took this all the way up to here, it would have went up to an S1. So, but I didn't, I didn't mess with it again. I just left it, um, as is, and it seems to work, um, just fine where it's at. All right, we got a six speed transmission race drive line and a drift differential you do have race brakes drift springs and dampeners anti-roll bars for the front and in the rear it has a sport chassis reinforcement just adding just a little bit uh, a trial amount more weight to the rear end all right, without going full blowing with the, uh, you know, the roll cage fully, you know. I wanted to keep it looking um, pretty much close to stock. 
even though it has some missing bumpers. It does have a race weight reduction. We are saving over 300 pounds uh, on this thing. So yeah, it's definitely uh, very light. Um, kind of like a pocket rocket. But yeah, everything here is all the way raced to give you all of that power. Sound pretty good for a V6. Don't know what happened there. It was a little slow. It's got a race turbo. Race intercooler. Race oil and cooling. And a race flywheel. So everything is on there. And there you have. That's the build. Let's get to the tune. Show you guys what I did to this thing. So uh, I gave it 55 55s. Uh, just to maximize the slide. All right, this is the gear and I came up with. All right, what I did was here, I just, you know, I brought this out, made sure everything was close, and then I put it back to 220 so you can see what I did there. All right, this is my alignment. This is what I came up with. Um, it does have a top speed of over 160 miles per hour. It is a straight build, even though it says failed for... Uh, top speed i'm going to take it outside i'm going to show you guys what i mean it is still a straight build anti roll bars are 35 40 and 22 40 so it's a, a little different um there um springs are are different also but i was happy i was able to get um i could zero out my numbers by using um the off-road tire compound so i did 300 and 250 and lows you can go is 5.6 inches off the ground Dampening is not at 20 and 20 like I usually run, but I wanted to run right in the middle. So I did 10, 10, and 1 and 1. There is no downforce to worry about. Braking, since it's rear wheel drive, I decided to just leave it stock 50 and 100. And then my differential is 21 and 100% decel. So there you have it. So. There we go. Let's take her outside, show you guys um, what I mean. It is a straight build, you know. Um, so, just want to show you guys what that's like. I think the top speed fell just because it's got uh, off-road tire. Just the tune I have on it. Um, it first had a top speed of like 155.5. And then I messed with it. And it went to 160 and 168 and, and so on and so forth. But here we are. Straighten it out. But as you can tell, it does drive straight. So on, on a controller, I mean on a steering wheel, you know, it would be easy to control. And it stops pretty darn good too. And like if we stop here. We do burn out there if I rev it up. If I just floor it. It spins tire. You know. It's got the power. And if you just let off on it, you can just drive it straight. But yeah. Woo! That back end. Love it. It's a lot of fun. Definitely meant to drift. Definitely meant to drift. Well, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. If you did, definitely hit that like button. Uh, if you'd like to see more 
let me know in the comments below of what you'd like to see. I know we got some Hot Wheels uh, vehicles, cars, whatnot uh, out. I'm trying to get them. Uh, I know there's a Hot Wheels dually truck, and I, I bought everything. I bought the all the, um, um, you know, stuff for it. Uh, and, and what I found out, because uh, I've never really done it before, is you can only buy one Super Wheel Spin. All right, look at that. I have 2,293 points. If I press on here, look at that. Already purchased. This special offer cannot be purchased more than once. So we got to wait until I, can, I have the wheel spin to get the, uh, you know, these vehicles. Um, they're, they're definitely not on the auction house. Um, you know, I've, I've looked, you know, and tried to, you know, see if I could get them, um, you know. Um, there, are, there are vehicles I do have, you know, um, but it is what it is. Um, like I said, there's the dolly right there for Hot Wheels. If I press on that, see, nobody's even selling it, um, you know. Now, I heard the, the Mustang is, a, is a, could be fi found sometimes. It's not there, you know, um, not yet at all, but, you know. You know these these guys. You know I have I have the cars up and shared the ones I do have. Um, you know so um, you know like this guy. I have an all wheel drive and a rear wheel drive, both A eight hundred for that, and those are shared. You know, and I also have the Bone Shaker, of course. You know, but yeah, until I get those other cars, you know. We're just gonna have to wait. I, I tried, guys. I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to do whatever I can to get those uh, vehicles and get them tuned and out there for you. But until then, I'll catch you guys next time. Stay sideways, my friends.